Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I hope your week is going fantastically for you. Uh, today we are going to continue our discussion uh, talking about building our confidence and building our success uh, by being aware of our stressors and our stress reactions and talking about them. But also we need to do self-care to help us manage stress. I'm going to answer what is self-care, uh, why do I need to do it, <laughs> and when do I do it? Uh, I mean, all valid questions, right? If I would have known <laughs> that when I picked these two topics this week, God was going to really challenge me in these areas this week, whew, I may have stayed clear of these <laughs> It has been quite the two weeks for us, and I think we have another week still coming with it all. So here we are, right in the middle of it, right? Right in the middle of managing stress, of talking about our stressors, and working hard on self-care to help us get through. So what is self-care? It's a really great question because it's different for everybody. Basically, self-care is anything that helps you take care of you so that you are able to take care of what else or who else needs to be taken care of. It's like the airplane thing where the masks fall down and you put yours on first so that you can breathe long enough to take care of the others around you. <laughs> That's what self-care is. And I know it's been a really big topic for many, several years now. And it's easy to mistake needing to self-care so that you can go take care of. Uh, and sometimes we fall into the, the far end of that where... It, we're only taking care of ourselves. Um, and we don't want to go that extreme either. You know, we don't want the extreme where we're only taking care of the things that need to be taken care of or the people that need to be taken care of because we burn out and then we can't keep taking care of those things, right? Right. But we don't want to go the other direction where we're only taking care of ourselves. You know, the balance is to do it, to take, to take care of ourselves so that we can care of, we can take care of those other things or those other people in our lives. And self-care can look then like anything. You know, what is it that helps you take a deep breath? or stay calm, or remember joy so that, you know, you can go forth spreading it. Uh, you know, any of those kinds of things. For me, it might be putting on a mask here and, you know, just taking a few minutes to feel really good about my skin and you know, when my skin feels really good, it helps me feel a little good, you know, like really boosts me. It might be me watching a show with my kids and having some time with them. You know, it might be a night out with the girls or a night with my husband. Uh, it could be getting a really good days of work done. Like, man, I just feel really accomplished today. I got so much done. And it might be like work work or it might be like housework or like a really big project that I've been trying to accomplish, right? It could be any of those kinds of things. But man, just getting a really mm, solid chunk of work done is so great, so boosting, right? Uh, it might be having a really good meal. You know, it has all the sweet, salt, umami, like everything was in that meal and you're just like, man, that was an explosion of 
flavor in my mouth and I feel really good about what I ate and oh, I like have zero cravings left. Yes. I mean, I don't know if any of you are like that about food. I am like that about food. <laughs> You know, self-care can look like so many things. It might be grabbing a good book or enjoying the outdoors for an hour or a half a day or a weekend. You know, uh, you might enjoy shopping therapy, you know, buying some stuff online, whether it's for the household or for yourself. For some people, it's literally just spending the money. Um, and for some people, it's literally just acquiring some of the stuff you need. Uh, sometimes I enjoy that, just being able to spend the chunk to acquire the things I need to accomplish the tasks I need to get done at home. Like, right? Because sometimes you have to like put those things off and off and off and off and off because other things come that require that money. And you're like, man, I really just want these furniture coasters to get under my furniture so I, you know, we don't scrape the floor or the that bin that's going to help me organize the refrigerator or those shelving units that are going to help me organize all my toddler stuff, you know, <laughs> whatever it may be. Sometimes it's just those things. So what does self-care look like for you? I'd love for you to comment your top three self-care things below. And it could be taking your vitamins every day because you know those are gonna help you feel great. It might be having your cup of coffee. Uh, you know, it could be your 10 or 30 minutes or even an hour of exercise a day. Uh, maybe you do your devotions every day and that's your self-care. Uh, whatever it looks like. It could be things that literally take a moment or that you can do while you're doing other things like drink your coffee or wear a mask or whatever. Like some of those things you can do while you're doing other things and you're still getting in your self-care. You know, um, I do to help manage my tension and migraines. I do water therapy every time I get in the shower. And so it might take me an extra seven to 10 minutes for my shower, but, um, Man, that water therapy really makes a big difference for the next two days until I have time to, you know, I make sure I have that time every other day. Uh, but, you know, I mean, that, that's something. Uh, so, uh, and sometimes you might need more self-care, like a few hours worth of a break to just really read a book or watch a good movie and kind of forget what's going on or to go on a hike, uh, you know, whatever it may be, or go out paddle boarding or, you know, whatever. Maybe you need a weekend to just get away and get out of this area that, you know, where your mindset is just blah, right? So what does your self-care look like and why do you need to do it? We do self-care, like I mentioned at the beginning, we do self-care so that we can continue to take care of the things that need to be taken care of, the people that need to be taken care of. You know, sometimes our mind needs that break. Sometimes our bodies need that break so that we can keep moving forward, right? And along that same lines, that's where your confidence and your success link into all of this. If you can't keep moving forward, you start losing your confidence. When you can't move forward, you lose sight of the success you are having. So self-care is really important just as important as being aware of your stressors and processing your stress and talking about it. Hopefully you saw that video earlier this week. If you didn't, look it up. When do you have time to do your self-care? 
Sometimes that's our biggest question, right? Our biggest battle we fight in doing our self-care. That's why it's really important to have a, a few self-care things that just take a moment. Like, okay, I took a deep breath. Let's go. Or having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I'm a tea drinker. Or, I know, I know, some of you may disown me for that. <laughs> or putting on a mask because you can literally then go do other things while that mask is doing its work. And then you go wash it off and finish your skincare and you feel a little better. You feel boosted, right? Earlier today, I was wearing my under eye patches because I just looked so tired, I felt so tired, and they just wake me up, and they feel so good. They make my eyes feel cool and soothed and tingly and, ugh, yes, and it takes some of the puffiness and dark circles away. I love my eye patches, but I can put those on and go do other things. So you need several things that literally just take you a moment, and you need some things that take an hour or a few hours. And you also need the ability to do something for a small getaway, whether it's a whole evening, like a date out, or a night away, like an overnight, you know, 24 hours, let's go, get away, take a break, a weekend. Hopefully you're in a position you can take vacations, but if not, then just do more of those, you know, medium size self-care items like watching movies and things like that, okay? Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a like so that I know this was helpful to you. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a beat on building your confidence and your success. I love you guys and hope you have a great weekend.